Go into our catalog in Lightroom and select in grid mode this one right here, the skier. I'm not a skier. I'll take pictures of skiers, but I don't ski. I don't snow ski either because waxing boards, putting them on my legs and jumping off a mountain is not my idea of sanity. But let's go ahead and take this one, we have it selected, into the develop module. What I want to do is crop it in a different way. Now cropping can really add a dramatic look to an image. A lot of times if I'm doing landscape type of photographs and I've got a really good high resolution camera that can afford me to blow things up and crop things out, sometimes I will take a little bit more than I think I need to give me the flexibility, if you will, to change the image. Now up here in the develop module, you have a button right here, crop overlay. Go ahead and click it. Now you will notice we go to crop mode and we have a grid laying on top of that image. If you go to the word tools on the pull down menu and go all the way down to crop guide overlay, you will notice we have grid, thirds, diagonal, triangle, golden ratio, spiral, and aspect ratios, which is actually new, but we can cycle through them with the letter O on our keyboard. So if I press the letter O, you will notice that it goes to all those different types of guides that can help me decide how to crop, and there is one new one right here, aspect ratios. Now we have 5 by 7, 8.5 by 11, and 4 by 5. And say I want to do a 4 by 5. But what about the internet? What about like ratios like 4 to 3, things like that? If you go back to the word tools and go down to crop guide overlay, you can go into choose aspect ratios. Now in here, we have the three that you see. But we also have things like 2 by 3. Here's a 4 by 3 ratio, which is very common on internet or monitors. You've got the 16 by 9, which is getting more popular, 16 by 10. I want to do a 4x5, I think, but I don't want these up here. Not that they're confusing. I just want to focus on 4x5. So I'm going to turn this one off up here and this one. And then we got 4x5. Click OK. Now we can begin the process. Now if we go to a corner or up here, say, whatever, and we bring it down, the guides are helping. But watch. If I keep going, notice the ones coming in on the left and the right. It's saying, okay, you can still do a 4x5 if you squeeze it down this much, but now you're going to have to pull it in on the left and the right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to here, and then come to this side here, and pull it in this way. Now if I keep going again, it'll say, okay, now you've got to pull it in the top and the bottom. But it gives me complete control. Now once I've done that, I can get in here, obviously, and I can move it around. Maybe I also want to change its rotational value. I can go to any corner I want, get a bent arrow, and move it any way that I want. Notice it will keep the image together. It won't go outside the image. So it's saying if you want to do that, this is what you're going to get. And then I get back into it maybe and do something like that. Pull it in. Maybe rotate it just a little bit more this way. And I like that. Double click. Totally changes the look of the image. But the new aspect ratio in grids is a really nice one to know you have. And here's the other icing on the cake. Total non-destructive editing, and that would be true of just about everything in this program. You come back tomorrow, and you go, eh, I wish I hadn't done that. So you go back to the image in the develop mode. You click here, and click reset. Doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. One other option. If you press the letter H for hide on your keyboard, you can remove those if you're just kind of doing a freelance thing. Using aspect ratios in Lightroom 5 is a new feature that gives us just that much more control over our output. And it's all non-destructive.